Hi, everyone. Um, I'm going to assume that you can hear me just now and keep going. So um, uh, welcome to this collaborations workshop. I'm going to kind of follow on from the slides that Rachel presented and say a little bit about the Software Sustainability Institute who run this event and also some of my own um, kind of personal tips, again, rehashed for online from uh, the physical uh, version of collaborations workshop. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, this is the 12th collaborations workshop that we've held. So this event has been going since 2009. Um, we've gone all around the country and now we're online. And um, I think one of the brilliant things about this workshop series has been how it's adapted to different places, locations, people. And so um, having it online seems like the natural progression, even if it was uh, not one that we expected to be doing so fast. Um, but welcome. Um, and as Rachel and others have said, um, we're still very much experimenting with this format. Thank you so much for the people who've provided some advice and feedback to us. Uh, and if there's anything that um, you think can be done better, leave us a note and we'll be sure to work it in to um, our feedback as we review how we do online workshops. So the Software Sustainability Institute is um, a place for basically understanding how we make the world better for those who are using or developing uh, research software. So it's the software that is used to um, do things like uh, run experiments, analyze data, simulate different types of phenomena. And what we do at the Software Sustainability Institute is provide different types of resources to the wider community. So we provide things like um, consultancy and expertise, services and tools, events like this, um, different programs uh, to help support the community like the Fellows Program. And uh, essentially what we're doing is trying to find out what it is that um, everyone who's working in the research software community is looking for to help provide the infrastructure and the guidance and the policy um, to support them. Um, so we ourselves are funded through um, UKRI uh, and many thanks to all seven research councils who are providing us with the funds to do our core activities. Um, we're spread across uh, a number of different teams uh, across four universities. So I'm based at Edinburgh and my colleagues are dotted around the country at Manchester, um, Oxford and Southampton. And together what we do is try and um, basically scale up the, the work of ourselves and others so that it can be available to the people who need it. So um, if you wanted to find out more about the work we do in the software team, and um, the lead for that is Steve Crouch, who you'll meet at some point over the next few days. Um, if you're interested in training, um, then speak to Alex Nenadic. Uh, if you're interested in community, obviously you've met Rachel, but also speak to Shoaib Sufi. Um, and if you're interested in policy, um, that's led by Simon Hetrick. Um, unfortunately, Simon is just recovering from uh, the COVID-19 virus. So um, in his absence, please uh, reach out to me instead. Uh, and for outreach, uh, that's led by Selena Aragon, who's currently on maternity leave. So again, if you have questions about that, please drop them into the Slack channel or reach out to me. So um, just to kind of like round up, um, I have some tips for unconferencing from, from being um, both an organizer and participant at a number of different unconferences. A lot of them still apply in these um, online unconferences. Uh, so I'm going to go through these four things in um, a little bit more detail. But the main thing I wanted to say is that things aren't normal just now. And uh, we shouldn't be trying to kind, kind of um, uh, keep on going as if nothing has changed. So everything is different. Um, and so if we can ex kind of just work with that, we'll find things are a little bit easier and hopefully a little bit less anxiety inducing. So um, first tip, you're a participant, not an audience. Uh, make sure that you're sharing knowledge with each other. So the collaborations workshop is all, all about disseminating 
what you know to other people. So share knowledge, not just views. Um, make sure you amplify good ideas when we get into discussion sessions and the hack day. Um, it's all about making sure that other people are appreciated for the things that they are contributing. Um, make sure you invite feedback, but just as equally, don't forget to listen to that feedback. And that can be quite hard in an online situation because we get more um, overlapping voices. Second one, um, be kind to yourself and to others. Um, so having had 30 hours of Zoom conferences last week, I think one of the things that I have realized most is that you need to be able to get up and stretch and take breaks. If we were doing this in um, a regular conference, physical conference setting, people would naturally be doing that. If you feel a little bit tired, you'll probably get up and walk out the room, have a little bit of a break. Feel free to do the same thing. As Rachel said, just set your um, Zoom status to be um, away or getting a coffee um, and, and go and do that. Um, be more tolerant of snags and issues, they will come up. Um, as we've just found out, we might get things like Google rate limiting our editing of documents. Um, so if these happen, report them uh, and we'll try and get them fixed as soon as possible. Uh, follow our code of conduct. This is incredibly important um, when we're entirely online because it can be hard to see all of the different um, channels that conversation are happening uh, in. So please do point out any non-inclusive behavior to us and use these online spaces respectfully. Um, it is just the same as in a physical space. Uh, the people are the same. Um, make sure that you are kind to yourself and to others. Um, find the sessions that fit you. Um, so we're asking you to choose your sessions in advance because of the limitations of getting people into rooms. So there is a little bit less scope for being able to leave a session and find one that suits you more. You'll be able to do this for some of the workshops. Uh, it will be harder to do that in the discussion sessions. However, if you find that a session isn't a good fit for you, feel free to kind of get up, have a coffee, um, have a stretch, and no one will judge you for it. Um, and yes, if someone leaves from your session, don't assume it's because your presentation is bad or your material isn't interesting. It might just be because the person needs to uh, go and play with their cat. And then finally, um, journey is as important as the destination. Um, so I've adapted people, um, people who've seen this at other events that I've been part of. I have uh, advertised this thing called the Pac-Man rule, where when you stand and you're talking to people, you leave a space so that it invites people to join the conversation. Um, there's a virtual version of this rule. So the virtual Pac-Man rule is to leave pauses so that people can um, come into the conversation. When we use video conferencing, there's a little bit of a lag. And so if you don't have occasional pauses, it can be very difficult for people who um, are new into the conversation to be able to join it. So please do leave some pauses when you're in discussion sessions so that other people can speak. Um, try to meet some new people. And we're going to try and give you as many opportunities to do this. Um, and remember that no idea is too trivial. So you're going to be talking a lot of, about a lot of different things. You don't necessarily know just now which are the ones that are going to be the really interesting ones. So uh, this is going to be a big journey into the unknown for us all. Um, and I hope that uh, it's a pleasant one with lots of good people to keep you company. OK, um, thank you very much. And I'm going to hand back to Rachel. Thank you, Neil. Um, we have time for one question if anybody has one. If not, thank you very much, Neil. Um, love the virtual Pac-Man rule. Um, as did a few people, I saw a few thumbs go up. Um, so the next